Hey yo, this is Joe from Bad News Racing. And today I will be showing you how to remove your old junky wastegate and slap on your very own Bad News Racing wastegate. Let's go ahead and check this out. So you're going to uh, need a 10 millimeter to unbolt your little guys over here. So let's go ahead and do that. Loosen it up. Let's finish it off with our fingers. Also, um, I do not have a the heat shield which goes here, which uh, if my memory is correct, I believe it is uh, just about two bolts. So it's one bolt here, one bolt here. So you could remove that if you'd like any extra space. Usually what I do is I take, oh, it's also connected to here. This is part of the heat shield. You're gonna want to uh, just go ahead and uh, just bend that up out of the way. If you don't really care too much about that. Now we're gonna take our pliers. We're gonna go ahead and pull the pin. Boom. We're gonna take our pliers again and remove the clamp off of the hose to the wastegate. And then from there, you should be able to pull and drop off of it. And then you can just go ahead and pull this out. And then the best thing for you to do with your old wastegate, once you take it out, is to just go ahead and... Is we're gonna take our brand new, beautiful S-Line Bad News Racing wastegate. You're gonna go ahead and drop it in and put our nuts on. Let's go ahead and give that just a little bit of a crank just to make sure that it stays in place. Now, I need you to come on down, get, get on a pin here with me because uh, this is the most crucial part and it is preloading your wastegate. So what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to loosen this to the point where it goes on and off with no problem. So there we go, we're good to go there. So now for a tuned vehicle to preload, we're gonna want to uh, do three half turns. So one full and a half turn. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it on in. So one, two, three. So let's hold it there, put our locking nut in place. And then now we're gonna need to just pull the wastegate over and pull it on. Take our pin, put that on, put our hose, clamp that bad boy on, and now let's make sure our nuts are on nice and tight. And then, you can go ahead and push that right back on. Now from this point, you can go ahead and uh, if you have our tune, you can plug up your auto cow to the vehicle and you can do live data. I would suggest, you know, check it out while you're driving or do a data log and then look at where your desired boost is at and make sure that your, uh, your actual boost is right where it should be at desired. If, um, if it's under, then I suggest taking the pin off and giving the uh, turnbuckle uh, one more turn or so. If, uh, if it's over boosting, you're gonna want to uh, loosen it about a half a turn and then go from there and kind of uh, mess with it until you dial it in exactly where you like it and where you want it. Thank you very much and peace.